Amateur video showed Syrians burning ballots, further anger erupting over President Bashar Assad's regime and his decision to hold a constitutional referendum Sunday, despite the ongoing unrest in the country that has claimed thousands of lives. The proposed reform would, in theory, allow competing political parties and limits the president to two seven-year terms. Some of those who voted told journalists they don't trust the opposition and fear civil war. But internationally as well as domestically, Assad's opponents were dismissing the election. We're dealing with a paradox, a farce really. When you look at yesterday's Syrian state television reporting on the flowering landscape of democracy and then switch channels and see what is happening, the children in hospitals who are killed, the women in hospitals who are raped, the 7,000 deaths the regime has caused. EU foreign ministers meeting in Brussels Monday increased the pressure on Assad's regime to stop its violent crackdown on opponents, freezing the assets of several Syrian government officials and imposing sanctions on the country's central bank. They also banned the purchase of gold, precious metals and diamonds from the country and barred Syrian cargo flights from the European Union. Previous rounds of EU sanctions haven't appeared to make much of an impact, though. Activist groups said the bombardment of civilians in the beleaguered city of Homs was continuing, even as the Red Cross said it got into Hama for the first time in a month, with an emergency delivery of food and other supplies. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.